Well, Donald Trump has had an absolutely disastrous weekend, and it's been glorious to watch. From getting booed off the stage to just continuously digging himself deeper and deeper. You would think that he would try to do something to get out of this hole, but he doesn't have it in him. He just keeps digging himself deeper in, and it's hilarious to watch. These days, when I watch Donald Trump out on the campaign trail, I'm kind of reminded of the Muhammad Ali-George Foreman fight, the Rumble in the Jungle, because Ali just laid back on the ropes and let Foreman punch himself out. And Foreman's trainers was hollering, saying, hey, stop, get off, get off those ropes, you're punching yourself out, you're running out of gas. He wouldn't listen. Muhammad Ali was telling him, hey, you're running out of gas. He wouldn't listen, and finally Ali knocked him out. So let's hope that's what happens with Donald Trump. Let's hope he continues to swing away at us, and let's just stand strong, stand our ground, let him punch, or punch himself out, and let's get that victory that we need so badly in November. But my good buddy D-Knight is here to take us through Donald Trump's disastrous weekend. And if you haven't already, be sure to go subscribe to D's channel. It is Pardon the Insurrection Podcast. Uh, give him a subscribe and get that follow count up there. And D, we appreciate everything you do here on our channel. So take it away. Now I think you should nominate me or at least vote for me. And we should win together. That was Donald Trump getting booed straight off the fork and stage at the Libertarian Convention. And this is D-Knight from the Part of the Insurrection podcast coming to you from Nashville, Tennessee, courtesy of Tennessee. Brando, go ahead, hit that subscribe button if you haven't done so already. Let's get him up to 200,000 subscribers. He's like so close he's that far away and you guys can make that happen if you do. But as you can see. Donald Trump's having a terrible Memorial Day weekend and, you know, considering he referred to our troops as suckers and losers, I couldn't be happier. <laughs> He's struggling to drum up support for his uh, presidential election in November and, and attempting to gain the nomination from the Libertarian Party by attending their convention and giving a speech. It went extraordinarily poorly. There was an endless deluge of booze, just endless Boo! I haven't I haven't seen this many boos since Usher and Alicia Keys did a song together. And look, we knew it was going to go poorly from the beginning. I mean, RFK Jr. was there the day before, and he was handing out chickens, uh, rubber chickens, and uh, asking the crowd to do their best to heckle Trump. RFK Jr. spoke yesterday as well, kind of encouraged the cow the crowd to heckle President Trump when he came on stage today, passing out rubber chickens that squeak, but those were not allowed in today. It's actually quite hilarious if you think about it, that a man with neurological damage because worms ate a portion of his brain outflanked Trump in the four-dimensional chess game by uh, enticing a crowd of hundreds of people to boo and heckle him. <laughs> it's pretty good. Can't make that up, but Trump did try to mitigate what we knew to be an oncoming disaster in advance by astroturfing the crowd at the uh, at the venue uh, by having a bunch of outside MAGA supporters come in and, and try and take the seats of actual libertarians before they could get to their seats. It backfired spectacularly. They were quite pissed and, and they demanded their representation there. But this isn't a, a tactic that's uncommon for Trump. You know, for instance, his Bronx rally where numerous outside people came to the Bronx for that rally. I mean, there were more white people in the neighborhood at that point than there have been since segregation. I mean, you know, we know those people clearly weren't living there. The Bronx is super black in Puerto Rican. There's almost no white people there. And also like the Michigan manufact car manufacturing rally that he held where he went to a non-union plant and pretended as though those workers were actually in a union. But that aside, um, <laughs> the plot failed, failed miserably as Trump was booed endlessly. And even though he had a number of opening acts before him, they fared just as poorly. I believe the future of this country depends on a libertarian nationalist alliance that will save this country. That's what I believe is required. <laughs> So let's work towards that. I really appreciate you all. And without further ado, 
I would like to welcome to the stage the 45th President of the United States, Donald J. Trump. And if you thought that was some sort of indication that things were going to go extraordinarily poorly for Trump, you'd be right as he was heckled with endless boos as he took the stage before he could even make it to the microphone. If you thought that was going poorly, it only continued to go downhill from there. Oh, it's an interesting question, isn't it? But we're going to have, but we're going to have a lot of fun. Well, in the last year, I've been indicted by the government on 91 different things. So if I wasn't a libertarian before, I sure as hell am a libertarian now. And unlike Joe Biden, I don't throw people in jail for disagreeing with me. I don't do that. We just got the full NRA, the strongest endorsement they've ever gotten the NRA. So that's good. Combine with us. You have to combine with us. We cannot give crooked Joe Biden four more years. Anyone can talk about defending freedom, but I've actually put everything on the line to resist these despots and these stuff. And I stand before you tonight as your best hope of defeating the weaponized Biden and the very evil regime that his people, because it's probably not him because he doesn't know where the hell he is. After getting destroyed for nearly 20 straight minutes, Trump then finally has enough and lashes out at the libertarians in the audience, basically calling them losers if they don't vote for him wrote an article yesterday in which he mentions just some of the things that make me a libertarian without even trying to be one. That's nice. D-Roy wrote, Donald J. Trump will address the Libertarian Party and its national convention on Saturday. The Libertarian Party should nominate Trump for President of the United States. Whoa. That's nice. That's nice. Only if you want to win. Only if you want to win. Maybe you don't want to win. Maybe you don't want to win. And after attempting to berate the crowd fails, Trump then panders to the audience by promising to commute the sentence of Ross Ulbricht if he's reelected. Uh, Ross is a convicted black market drug smuggler who used the dark web to conduct a lot of illegal activity i mean and look the crowd obviously knows he's full of shit here now, this is the same trump who's threatened to execute drug dealers if he's reelected. and if you vote for me on day one i will commute the sentence of ross ulbricht to a sentence of time sir And when that attempted pandering fails, Trump then tries to pacify the crowd uh, by promising to put libertarians in his cabinet and prominent offices all throughout his administration. That is why I'm committing to you tonight that I will put a libertarian in my cabinet and also libertarians in senior posts. Pretty good. That's pretty big. Or you can keep going the way you have for the last long decades and get you 3% and meet again and get another 3%. I can only imagine how sick Nikki Haley must be uh, after she finally bent the knee, gave Trump her endorsement, and got blasted with a bunch of Trump campaign fundraising emails saying that she'd never be his VP only to turn on the TV and see this guy promising high ranking positions in his administration to a bunch of people telling him to eat dog shit. <laughs> but 
you know, that's what she gets for not taking a principal stand. Uh, like anytime you sacrifice your morals and principles for this guy, because he smells weakness, he will walk all over you and make you regret it. Uh, but look, that's again, that's what she gets. The only way you can really deal with this dude is to beat his ass figuratively. Of course. I mean, maybe literally too, but that's beyond the scope of this. Um, but speaking of needing to learn the lesson of not pandering <laughs> Trump before he leaves, gives one last beg for votes. Then right now in this election, we need your help. We need your support. When I'm in the White House, you will always find an open door to the Oval Office. I think the biggest takeaway from the event is that once Trump is unable to stage these events in reality TV show fashion, and he's met with people out, just not even normal people, because I wouldn't necessarily refer to libertarians as your average person, but just anyone outside of the cult, you quickly come to realize how much of Trump's support is actually a facade. It's not, not real. It's, it's all astroturf. Well, a, a, a large portion of it. And I think, uh, you know, given with some of the polling, the way polls can be manipulated, a lot of that is astroturfed as well. And there's this illusion of support that continues to keep Trump propped up. But the second the veil slips, I believe Trump support would flounder. And we saw the veil slip here. And then once you see it, you can't unsee it. And again, you can either nominate us and put us in the position or give us your votes. I would say nominate or give us your votes. But we want libertarian votes because you stand for what we stand for and don't waste a vote and don't allow the worst president in the history of our country to come back and do the final destruction of America. Thank you very much, everybody. God bless you. God bless you. I'm not going to lie. The most hilarious part of that last clip was the guy doing the shadow puppets with the chicken in the bottom corner of the screen. That was, <laughs> that was the best part. But how important is it for Republicans to make sure that you unsee everything you just saw? Well, they won't even tell you the truth about what happened. Appreciate it. I want to start with what happened last night. Morning, Donald Anna. Trump, good morning, faced uh, a mix of cheers and boos at the Libertarian National Convention. What did you make of that response? I saw a wave of red hats at the Libertarian Convention. Donald Trump's popularity continues to increase. It's crazy how CNN let that man lie like that on their network, even though we just all watched the video of Trump facing more booze in a Ghostbusters movie. These are the same people who tried a lot of us about the attack on the Capitol on January 6th, even though we all watched the video of Trump supporters attacking Congress, trying to stop the certification of Biden's election. But... Now that you have the evidence that Trump is obviously unpopular, you can share this video with other people so they can see the clear truth. And if you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit the subscribe button. If you haven't already, leave a thumbs up and feel free to leave your thoughts in the comments below. And if you could, if you could give me a follow on my personal podcast, Pardon the Interaction, available everywhere podcasts are found.